two, one, go. Bob Yates match 52 at Wilsonville underway. Most teams have one match left to play and this is it, but the Cyborg Seagulls and the Generals get two more. This match also features bare metal on the charge station to the left and the Generals on the charge station to the right. Bare metal comes in your number one seed, the Generals your number two seed. Blue Lions gets the docked and engaged accomplishment there, but Red Lions with the early advantage with two minutes to play. It's Red Lions 29, Blue Lions 26. Uh-oh, 5975 wanted to go meet the head referee up close and personal. They reached outside the side of the field and they have been east up. 36-31 and now with 59-75 Beta Blues out of it is three red robots versus two blue robots. Bare Metal almost overbalances, taking a cue back. They get that onto the top layer of grid. Five points to the Blue Alliance. 36-73, not moving at the moment. So it's three red robots to one. 59-75 in a, the red community. That's not a good place for a blue robot to be, and they've been east up. They can't do anything about it. So 68-45 looking around to Shepard. A cue back towards their community. Two red robots come out. It's 36-36 at 44-50 and 20-46 all colliding. 36-36 up and over. The charge station for the Red Alliance, cone in hand. They extend that arm out and then appear to stop and now they're gonna rethink their positioning. Whoa! 36-36, a little out of control at the moment. Dancing around on both sides, make contacts multiple times with the Beta Blues machine. 91-63, penalties involved in this as we get down towards our end game. 2046 at Olympia Robotics Federation in the combo. Everybody's getting a piece of bare metal as they come back this time around. 25 seconds left. 126, 131 penalties accruing, I believe, on Beta Blues continually. The referees are going to talk about this after the match. I am certain. The Generals up on top with 6845. 4450 tries to gather it in. Five seconds to get that straight. And they appear to have that docked and engaged to your Red Alliance. 2046 up, docked and engaged on the Blue Alliance field to this reporter's eye, but I'm not a referee. Referees are going to sort a lot of things out, and we'll be back with your final score in just a bit.
right, in that match, we had a G102 robot stay on the field during the match during the Beta Blues. It's okay to drive around with your appendage out, but when you make a turn, you can't have it sweep outside the field and try to knock over the head referee stand. Because that happened, Beta Blues was disabled. They were disabled in a legal position for the robot to be in the center of the field. We then had four G207 right-of-way fouls against the Blue Alliance for contact in the community. And then we had a series of G201 fouls, which essentially is don't expect to gain by doing others harm, where the, where the Red Alliance repeatedly came in and made contact with the Beta Blues bot in areas where the Beta Blues bot was not supposed to be. You can't commit a foul. It is a foul to try to commit by, to try to force somebody else to commit a penalty. So the majority of the fouls, G201, a foul, and then the repeated contact, 12 tech fouls against the Red Alliance for that. With all of that applied, your final score is not close to our unofficial one. Blue Alliance with the victory. 149 penalty points. Your score is 226 to 113. The Blue Alliance, bare metal, still your number one seed. Your Red Alliance, the Generals, still the number two seed. And that is our high score with penalties, but not near the 300 plus from the Israeli tournament last time. And uh, well, there you go.